All right, everyone, welcome back to another video of Door Kickers 2. Today we're playing the mission called Night Raid. It is a abduction mission. It says secure and extract the enemy HVT alive. Eliminate all terrorists is an optional objective. So typically on an extract the HVT mission, like we're going after a bad guy. Um, but I can see down here that we've got a little hostage rescue area down here uh, where it looks like they've been keeping some hostages so I would like to free those hostages if that's an opportunity also typically on a mission like this there's an extraction point so I am a little confused on how this one is going to be set up I haven't played it before uh, but that's not gonna stop us so I'm gonna initially attack this mission by Trying to get my guys down here, see if there's some hostages to be rescued, and then we'll move our way into the building. So we're allowed four guys here, so I'm bringing these four. They're set up with hammers and breaching shotguns, as well as flash springs and frags. Got a lot of locked doors, so we'll be using those hammers and the shotguns to get through those doors. So initially, just looking here, like I said, I want to get down here first off. So this would obviously be a little bit more of a direct route here. But as you look along the backside, everything here is glass windows and doors. So we could, you know, have our guys here come through this fence, try and set up security here while we move in. Uh, but my fear is that there's going to be a lot of dudes hanging out in here and this is a lot of angles to have to cover. If someone comes, comes to the window here, comes to the window here, maybe comes out one of these doors. There's probably some guys here guarding the prisoners. Uh, so I really don't want to attack this from the bottom. I just don't like the angle, how everything is set up here. So what I'm planning on doing instead is coming across here. Uh, these are closed windows, or they've got drapes on them. So we should be able to sneak through here and then this is an open window here. I'm hoping to get a glance into this room and be able to kill anyone who's in here um, off the rip. Or bypass if we want to. And then continue on to here. Then we'll have a much better angle into this room. Possibly we can set up like a little crossfire situation with one person here and people here shooting in this direction. Um, and then we can sort of clear, clear this way out first. Then we've got a little bit better angle if we've got guys stacked up over here shooting this way as opposed to coming around this corner. So that's the plan. No idea how it's going to work, but we are going to give it a shot. I will go ahead and keep my guys on silent mode to start. It looks like we got a little glitch here, being able to see a little bit through the crack there. So number one, you are going to watch this door, make sure nobody comes out. And then these guys are going to be focused this direction. So we'll go ahead and move these dudes up. And get him set right here. Probably shouldn't have been able to see that, but that's okay. I guess I want these guys looking the opposite direction now. Um, I'm going to have him go ahead we can't use that tool here okay so I guess you can only use that on a locked door not a locked fence but that's okay we'll have him do a manual breach then you're gonna watch over his shoulder and you guys just all sync up there you're watching our back so that's definitely loud sure who is shooting at us but we'll go ahead and get off of silent mode possibly someone can see us through here so we definitely want to keep one muzzle point in that direction being compromised like this is not good at all um, so I think we are actually going to we may back out and come through the front door obviously that front door is open now we can't see that it is but those dudes came out on us I don't know if I want to send these guys in here. So real quick, I'm going to 
have him step off. Get him looking over here as well. Let's get a flashbang into this room. And then we can push these dudes up. Flash out. All right. So as they are coming up, I'm going to have him begin to look through here. Have him watching here. We're going to give this up for a moment. We'll go ahead and push across with these guys and he can hold on that. All right, we're not in a terrible situation right now. We will go ahead and continue this direction since we've cleared this out. I am going to leave uh, one, one person here watching this door. And then Jones, these guys are going to start to move up. I'll leave him. No one can come to here and these guys can start working on this next door. He's going to continue to watch that door for us. Holding. And then we're going to get ready for this one. So let's get everyone set up properly. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to have these guys look the right direction. All right. Go ahead and have him use the hammer here. Hold what we got. Now, typically, <laughs> you would not be standing here where your hands are visible right here, but it's a little difficult to have the game do it exactly how we want. So I'm going to do a center check with Nolan. He's going to step to the center. He doesn't see anyone directly ahead. I'm fairly confident no one's hiding right here. So this is going to be my next largest area that I want to clear. So I'm going to go ahead and have Nolan push in while looking this direction. And then Jones is going to come right behind him also while looking this direction. So we do this so that if someone is waiting right here, hopefully we're going to have two muzzles pointed right there at the same time. This is clear. So for now, I'm going to have Nolan turn back around. I'm going to go ahead and press Jones in. And have him hold this way. Or can come back around. And now we've got two guys here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave Macaulay here watching the front door for now. He's watching our back. People do obviously know that we've come from this direction. So I want to make sure that anyone coming this way, uh, he's going to be able to cut them off for us. So let's make this happen. All right, excellent. So now we've got another area here that we want to clear. So we want to try and keep as far off of this as possible in this direction. That's going to give us a better angle. So I am going to have Nolan come all the way here. He's watching down this way. I'm going to get Brimmer right next to him. Also watching this way. Now we're going to slowly start to creep forward. Um, that's a sheet metal door, so we actually cannot see through there. This area is obviously cleared out, but we want to clear this next. So I'm going to use Brimmer. He's going to one man clear through here uh, just with his plates watching this direction. So we're going to move him at the same time as Nolan. So Nolan's going to be watching. this direction the whole time we want them to move in unison so that way his plates are guarding his side um, and he's watching ahead in case anyone pops out from this direction all right so that worked out perfectly we can hold here this area is all clear don't believe there's anyone hiding in this i will take a step in just to make sure So 
if there is a way for me to even see that. I don't know if there's a way for me to really see in there. All right, I'm confident that that's clear. So none of these are doors out, these are just windows. So I am gonna go ahead and press Jones up a little bit, but not too far because we do still have this area that is a threat. So we don't wanna expose him there. So now we can start to move through the rest of this area. Same thing as we did before. Let's get these guys stacked up right here. Okay, he's got another good shot there. So now exact same thing as what we did right here. We're going to do again with this room. So Rimmer is going to be watching this room. We're going to push him in this direction to clear that. As we do that, we're going to push Nolan up. And Nolan's going to be watching this direction the whole time. As he gets to the end, we'll start to look this way. All right, so that is clear. This area is clear. So now this is where it gets a little tricky. We do need to watch this spot behind us as well as everything going on right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop coverage in here. Although someone could come through here, like it is a possibility. It's unlikely that someone's going to come through this direction. What we can even do is move Jones up. Oh, no, we can't. Jones is stuck right there. That's fine. Um, what we can do is drop coverage here. Hopefully we'll hear this door open if someone were to sneak all the way through here without him seeing it. Unlikely. So I'm okay dropping that. We're going to take this sort of like a T intersection. All right. If we're going this way, we're going to have these two. They're not really button hooking because there's nothing to button hook off of, but we're going to have him focus this way. And his gun is going to be pointed this direction while him, Rimmer, is going to be this way with his plates this way. So his gun's pointed that direction, his gun's pointed this direction, we're going to be back to back. Alright, so I don't see anyone from here. Or again, we're just going to continue to move at this same sort of angle where we're moving back to back. And we'll just continue doing that. And that's not a person in there. I guess that's just garbage. Whatever. So I'm pretty confident that there's not going to be no one over there. But I am going to pull him back a little bit. I want to check this direction first. I'm going to come up this way. Again, we're trying to stay as close back to back as possible. We want to push to here. I'm confident that there's no one going to pop out right there. We've already killed one guy from there. He probably would have already run out as well. And now we'll take this. Excellent. Let's go ahead and cut the power. All right, nice. We got the power all cut. Let's go ahead and have him step out. Clear this last bit on the outside. Perfect. Now we can work on getting everyone to meet back up. So we do have a nice perimeter set up still. We know that the HVT has not run out the front door. He's not run into this back bedroom. And now we're gonna make our entry with these two through this direction. So let's get our team two-man team oriented back together. And we can make entry to right here. Not sure why the power is still on. I guess that fuse box was only to the outside of the building, not to the inside of the building. Still seems fairly lit in here, but that's fine. So now again, we've got a sort of T intersection. So we're going to have one man go up and one man come down. I am going to get a flashbang in here first. Might as well. Flash out. So as that goes up, Brimmer is going to be watching to the north. Nolan to the south. We'll push them in sort of back to back. And this area is clear. Somehow the flashbang opened this outward swinging door. 
So we are going to have to just clear that with him <laughs> real quick. And then get his muzzle pointed back this direction. Alright, so this bottom area is all clear. We've already cleared this from the outside. So now we can do a two-man clear up here. We'll finish this out and then we'll bring one guy back up to clear out that last bit. We can actually go ahead and bring Macaulay in now as we've met up with each other. But we will go ahead and push these guys up. Obviously, yell and blue blue as we come around that corner. Don't want to get shot, so he can adjust his aim to just be focused on this now. And we'll get these two set up. Ready to make entry here. Let's back him up just a little so his gun is up already. And then we can kick this door. Alright, still waiting to find that HVT, so he's going to be either up here or in one of these two closets. Uh, so he actually has the best view sort of into the room at this point. So I am going to get him to toss a flashbang in this last corner. Flash out. You can turn around. We'll go ahead and make entry. Uh, since we know all this area is clear, I actually drew that line a little bit wrong. We want him to be watching this way but we want to run the rabbit. So we want to look into the unknown area while going into this known area that's clear. So he's going to come in first and then he will come in second, pressing towards that threat. So two guns there at the same time. We'll go ahead and work on clearing out these. This side one at a time. Uh, we are going to hold off. We don't want to have both these guys shooting you know, these guys shooting this way while these guys are shooting this way. It's a bit of a crossfire situation. So we'll get everyone set up and then we'll decide who's going first. I'm going to go ahead and have him kick this door. He should have a good view inside. All right, that is clear. So we can get him to back out. Same thing, we'll get him off of that angle. Push these guys up and kick this last door. There is our HVT. Are you going to arrest him? <laughs> Just going to stare at him. There he is. Holding. Can we put you in cuffs? Perfect. There we go. Primary target secure. Right, so we got him in cuffs. Just so happened he was in the last spot that we were going to check. So we would. We've already dominated the structure. There's no reason for us to do anything else there other than get him out to the extraction point. So three stars. I don't think we took any bullets there. So great success. If you guys would please drop a like and subscribe. Uh, turn your notifications on so you're notified when a new video comes out. Really appreciate it. And for those of you who want to watch the replay without me yakking, we will go ahead and do that they're here holding flash out Shout!
Flash out! Primary target secured.